In the bustling heart of ancient Rome, a philosophy emerged. Stoicism, a school of thought that emphasized virtue, reason, and living in accordance with nature. At its core, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts and actions, to accept what we cannot control, the external world and the actions of others. This powerful philosophy, embraced by emperors and everyday citizens alike, holds profound wisdom for us today. By learning to control our reactions to external events, we gain a remarkable freedom. We become the masters of our own inner world, no longer slaves to the passions that so often lead us astray. By learning to see the world through a stoic lens, we can challenge these judgments, choose our responses, and ultimately live a life of greater peace and purpose. In today's fast-paced world, we face a barrage of distractions and pressures. Social media fuels our anxieties and insecurities. It's easy to feel overwhelmed to lose sight of what truly matters. Stoicism offers a refuge from the relentless demands of modern life. The Stoics understood that true happiness is not found in external possessions or achievements, but in inner peace and virtue. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and reactions, we can find contentment and fulfilment regardless of our circumstances. The Stoic principles of acceptance, resilience and self-control are more relevant than ever. By embracing Stoicism, we can cultivate emotional intelligence, build resilience and live more fulfilling lives. In a world that often glorifies confrontation and aggression, walking away can seem counterintuitive. We are taught to stand our ground, to fight for what we believe in. But what if true strength lies in knowing when to walk away? What if the most courageous act is sometimes to disengage, to refuse to be drawn into unnecessary conflict? Walking away is not a sign of weakness, but of wisdom. It's a deliberate choice to prioritize our peace of mind and well-being. By mastering the art of walking away, we reclaim our time, our energy, and our emotional well-being. The world often mistakes aggression for strength. The loudest voice, the most forceful argument, is often mistaken for the strongest. But true strength lies not in forcing our will upon the world, but in mastering ourselves. Think of the stoic ideal, the unflinching rock in a raging storm. This is the strength of a stoic, not to be immovable, but to be unyielding to the things that truly have no power over us. The strength to walk away comes from understanding that our true power lies within. It lies in our ability to choose our responses, to control our emotions, and to focus on what truly matters. It requires courage to walk away from the fray, to resist the urge to react, to stand tall in our own convictions. Time, as the Stoics knew, is our most precious resource. Every minute we spend embroiled in pointless arguments, every hour we waste on things that don't truly matter, is time we can never get back. Ask yourself this, what are you giving your energy to? Is it something that truly aligns with your values, your goals, your purpose? Imagine your life as a garden. You wouldn't let weeds choke out your flowers, would you? You'd tend to them carefully, nurturing the plants that bring you joy and beauty. By walking away from the unnecessary, the unproductive, the draining, you create space for the things that truly matter. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to invest in ourselves, in our growth, in our own version of a good life. Walking away isn't about retreating from the world. It's about engaging with it more consciously. It's about developing the discernment to know when to hold our ground and when to gracefully step aside. The Stoics believed in living in accordance with nature. This means accepting the impermanence of all things, the ebb and flow of life. Walking away then becomes an exercise in letting go of attachment to outcomes, in focusing on what we can control, our own responses. It's about recognizing that our energy is finite and we must use it judiciously.
We humans have a peculiar habit of clinging to control. We try to control outcomes, to control other people, even to control the uncontrollable. This desire for control, however, is often the source of our suffering. The Stoics understood that true freedom comes from letting go of this illusion of control. By accepting that we can't control everything, we free ourselves from the burden of trying. Walking away then becomes an act of surrender, not to weakness, but to reality. It's about recognizing when a situation is beyond our control and choosing to invest our energy elsewhere. The Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius is perhaps the most renowned Stoic philosopher. His writings, compiled in meditations, offer profound insights into the Stoic practice of indifference. Marcus Aurelius understood that not all things are worth our time and energy. He advocated for a life of rationality and virtue, free from the unnecessary entanglements that often drain our spirits. Indifference in the Stoic sense does not mean apathy or lack of caring. Instead, it refers to a deliberate detachment from things that lie outside our control. By practicing indifference, Marcus Aurelius demonstrated the strength to walk away from unnecessary conflicts and distractions. This lesson is timeless and offers a beacon of guidance for us in the modern world. Indifference, as taught by Marcus Aurelius, is a practice that requires mindfulness and self-awareness. It's about cultivating a mindset that allows us to disengage from the unimportant and focus on what truly matters. Every day we encounter situations that can trigger emotional responses. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can pause, reflect and choose our response. One practical way to cultivate indifference is through daily reflection. By sitting quietly and observing our thoughts without judgment, we learn to detach from them. Over time, this practice can transform our responses to external events, allowing us to walk away from unnecessary conflicts with grace. Avoiding unnecessary conflicts is a cornerstone of stoic wisdom. Marcus Aurelius taught that our primary concern should be our own virtue and rationality, not the actions and opinions of others. Engaging in conflicts that do not serve our higher purpose only drains our energy and distracts us from our true goals. In our daily lives, we often encounter situations that can escalate into conflicts. By practicing discernment, we can choose to walk away from conflicts that do not align with our values. Walking away from unnecessary conflicts is an act of strength, not weakness. By choosing our battles wisely, we preserve our energy for the things that truly matter and live in alignment with our Stoic principles. In Marcus Aurelius's time, distractions were far less pervasive than they are today, yet he still emphasized the importance of maintaining focus on what truly matters. In our modern world, distractions are everywhere. Social media, news, endless notifications, all vying for our attention and pulling us away from our goals. Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of these distractions and to cultivate the discipline to walk away from them. By identifying what is truly important, we can allocate our time and energy accordingly, avoiding the pitfalls of distraction. One practical approach to managing distractions is to set clear boundaries. By applying these stoic principles, we can navigate the sea of modern distractions with clarity and intention. Walking away from unnecessary conflicts and distractions allows us to live a life of purpose, in harmony with our values and in control of our own destiny, our relationships. The source of so much joy and, let's be honest, a fair bit of misery. We've all encountered them. Those connections that leave us feeling drained, belittled or constantly on edge. These toxic relationships, like a noxious weed, can strangle our peace of mind and hinder our personal growth. Stoicism offers a clear path. Walk away. Walking away becomes an act of self-care, a radical declaration that you deserve to be surrounded by those who uplift and inspire.
We've all been there, locked in a debate that spiralled from lively discussion into a battle of egos. Voices rise, tempers flare, and logic flies out the window. The Stoics, ever the pragmatists, recognised the futility of such engagements. They understood that some arguments, like stubborn mules, are better left unridden. This isn't about shying away from healthy debate or suppressing dissenting opinions. It's about recognising when a conversation has become unproductive, fuelled by pride rather than a genuine desire for understanding. Is the other person truly open to listening, or are they more interested in scoring points and proving their own righteousness? Imagine trying to reason with a raging fire. You'll only get burned. Similarly, engaging in an unproductive argument often leads to frustration, anger, and damaged relationships. Walking away in this instance demonstrates not cowardice, but wisdom. It shows that you value your peace of mind and refuse to be drawn into pointless battles of ego. Remember, you can't control how others behave, but you can control your own reactions. By choosing to disengage from an unproductive argument, you're demonstrating a profound level of self-control. You're saying, I will not let your anger dictate my emotions. I choose to remain calm and collected, even in the face of your storm. Ah, the digital age. A marvel of connectivity and, let's be honest, a breeding ground for comparison, envy and outrage. Social media, with its carefully curated highlight reels and endless streams of opinions, can easily suck us into a vortex of negativity and anxiety. The Stoics, were they here today, would surely advocate for a healthy dose of digital detox. This isn't about swearing off technology entirely or becoming a hermit in the woods. It's about using these tools mindfully, recognizing their potential to distract and disengage us from the present moment. Ask yourself, how much time am I spending scrolling through feeds, comparing myself to others, or getting riled up by online debates? Is this truly how I want to spend my precious time and energy? Imagine your mind as a garden. Every minute you spend on social media, especially when it leaves you feeling inadequate or anxious, is like planting a weed. Walking away then becomes an act of weeding out the negativity, creating space for more nourishing pursuits. Remember, you are the curator of your own mental space. You get to choose what you allow in. By consciously limiting your exposure to the social media vortex, you're prioritizing your own well-being. You're saying, I will not let algorithms dictate my emotions or my sense of self-worth. I choose to engage with the world on my own terms. We humans often cling to things long after they cease to serve us. The Stoics recognized this tendency in decision-making. They warned against the sunk cost fallacy sticking with something just because we've invested in it. Clinging to the past, prevents us from embracing new opportunities. Retrace your steps and find the right path. Letting go frees us to make decisions based on what serves us now. It's a powerful act of self-compassion. Now, my friends, we've talked at length about the wisdom of walking away, the strength it takes to disengage from the unnecessary and preserve one's peace of mind. But Stoicism, ever balanced, reminds us that true strength lies not just in walking away, but also in knowing when to stand firm, to face the storm head on with courage and conviction. There are times when walking away would be the easier path, when the temptation to retreat, to avoid conflict is strongest, but it's in these very moments that true courage is tested when we must summon our inner fortitude and choose engagement not out of ego or a need to control, but out of a deep sense of purpose and responsibility. Think of a gardener tending to a beloved plant during a harsh winter. It would be far easier to bring the plant inside to shield it from the elements. Yet the gardener understands that some challenges are necessary for growth, that by providing support and enduring the storm alongside the plant, it will emerge stronger its roots digging deeper. This is the courage to stay, to face those challenges that life throws our way, not with recklessness, but with a calm and resolute spirit. 
It's about recognising that true growth often occurs outside our comfort zones, in the face of adversity that tests our limits and reveals our true strength. Walking away is often an act of self-preservation, a way to protect our energy and maintain our peace. But there are times when engaging with the world, even when it's difficult, is not only necessary, but deeply rewarding. When we must step outside our comfort zones and contribute our unique talents and perspectives to the greater good. Think about the things you're most passionate about, the causes you believe in, the injustices that ignite a fire within you, these are not things to be passively observed from a distance. They demand our attention, our energy, our active participation in shaping a better world. Imagine a world where everyone chose the easy path, where discomfort was avoided at all costs. It would be a world devoid of progress, of meaningful change, of the very things that make life worth living. Engagement is not always comfortable, but it is through these acts of courage, of standing up for what we believe in, that we find true fulfillment. This is the worth of engagement. It lies not in the guarantee of victory or the promise of ease, but in the act itself. In knowing that we've used our voices, our talents, our very beings to make a difference, however small in the world around us. It's about embracing the messy, challenging, and often deeply rewarding work of building a better future together. The decision to stay, to engage, is deeply personal. It's about aligning our actions with our values, with what truly matters to us. It's about building a life that is so rich, so fulfilling, that the thought of walking away from it, even in the face of challenges, seems unfathomable. This begins with self-reflection. What are your passions? What brings you joy? What legacy do you want to leave behind? These are not questions with easy answers, but they are essential to consider as we build a life worth staying for. Imagine your life as a tapestry. Each thread represents a different aspect, your relationships, your work, your passions, your contributions to the world. By consciously choosing threads that resonate with our values, we create a tapestry that is uniquely our own, a masterpiece that reflects our innermost selves. This is the beauty of building a life worth staying for. It's about cultivating a deep sense of purpose and belonging, of knowing that we are exactly where we're meant to be, doing what we're meant to do. And when we have that, my friends, the challenges we face, the storms we weather, become not obstacles, but opportunities for growth and transformation. Discernment, my friends, is key. We must learn to distinguish between walking away from a situation that no longer serves us and running away from something we're afraid to face. The former is an act of courage, the latter often a sign of avoidance. Ask yourself, am I walking away because I've carefully considered my options and chosen a different path? Or am I running away because I'm afraid of discomfort, of failure, of the unknown? Honesty, as always, is paramount. Imagine you're learning to ride a bicycle. Falls are inevitable, a natural part of the process. But each time you get back on, you learn something new, you build resilience, you move closer to mastery. Running away in this instance would mean giving up on the joy of riding altogether. This is the difference between walking away and running away. It's about knowing when to persevere, when to face our fears, when to embrace the challenges that ultimately shape us into the people we're meant to be. It's about recognizing that true strength lies not in avoiding discomfort, but in learning to navigate it with grace and resilience. The Stoics were practical. They understood that philosophy, divorced from action, was but empty words. They bequeathed to us a toolkit for resilience, for navigating life's challenges with grace. At the heart of this toolkit lies reflection and meditation. Reflection helps us examine our thoughts and actions. Meditation allows quiet observation of our thoughts. Journaling processes our experiences and shapes our narratives. These tools are as relevant today as they were centuries ago. Mastering the art of walking away is not a passive endeavor. 
It is a delicate dance between engagement and disengagement, knowing when to stand our ground and when to gracefully step aside. It requires courage, my friends, the courage to defy societal expectations, to resist the urge to react, to choose our peace over the need to be right. This is the promise of Stoicism, the power that comes from mastering the art of walking away. And so, my friends, we reach the end of our journey, a journey through the stoic art of walking away. Remember, walking away is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength. It's about recognizing that your time, your energy, your very essence is precious. The power, my friends, lies within you. Choose wisely, walk with purpose. And may your journey be filled with peace, clarity and the quiet strength that comes from knowing when to stay and when to walk away.